Hi friends, it's Becky. And the beads were good again this week. <laughs> I am, whew, it's been, it's been kind of a crazy week. It started out like super busy. Um, and we had like the eclipse, <laughs> like we had actual things happening, happening. And um, so that was, that was a lot of fun. And then some crazy weather and all that other stuff. But I still managed to get all of the earrings made that I planned to this week. Um, in fact, I made some that I hadn't planned on making this week. And it was really great. Um, also, this is probably going to be a fairly short wrap-up video. I, uh, I'm taking care of some stuff around the house today. Which is why, you know, minimal makeup. My hair's up. So it's, 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 not, uh, it's not something I need to get dressed up for, but I did want to have a minute and catch up with y'all and like, show you what I made so we can do a little try on. So we did have the eclipse. Um, Austin was right in, well, close to Austin in the path of the, the totality. I think we were like at 98% near my house. And so it was going to be real great. And then we had a weather forecast that was like, going to be rainy, going to be cloudy. We're going to have like some... <laughs> rainstorms and thunderstorms and nobody's gonna see anything and I was like oh well at least I bought some uh eclipse glasses just in case and so I decided to go ahead and make an eclipse necklace and earring set using the rainy day blues because rainy day <laughs> <laughs> that's how it ended up being here um but it just so happened that um I went outside just to see I was gonna take a video of the clouds passing by and like do it as time lapse and be like look at my amazing view of the the eclipse I thought it would be really funny and it would be really funny but while I was out there we started getting these little breaks in the clouds and I started like I had the the eclipse glasses with me so I was looking up and I saw you know, the moon moving in front of the sun and everything. And it was so cool because it was actually happening. And it turned out that it cleared enough for us to be able to see um, just right at the totality. It was completely dark. It got so quiet. And then just right as it was starting to like move away, it got cloudy again. <laughs> it did not clear up at all for the rest of the day. But... It was so cool. It was just the coolest thing to like be part of. And I think the coolest and best part of it was that my neighbors were out and the people across the street were out and they were out with their kids. Their kids had stayed home from school. And so we were all talking about it. We were all visiting and sharing in that experience together. It was such a great like chance to, you know, just have a visit with some of my neighbors because we always get busy. We don't talk to each other very much at all. Um, and it's, it's actually really funny because, um, my uh, my neighbors solved a mystery for me actually on Wednesday. Um, Wednesday is our garbage day, and my brother had brought out the bins on Wednesday, um, and he had seen our bin going being lifted up. But he was like, "Oh, hey, it happens every day," and he'd he'd walked back into the house at that point. And when he came out, like not ten minutes later, our bin was gone. And I thought, well, okay, it's a really windy day. Maybe it rolled away somewhere somehow. <laughs> and my neighbors, who I had just, you know, spent some time talking to and who come and, and chat with my brother all the time. He he he's a smoker, so he's he's outside a lot for that because we don't smoke in my house. <laughs> but um but anyway, uh they, they usually chat with him, which is pretty great. But uh she posted on my I next door I was like okay it's a windy day if one of y'all ended up with an extra bin it's probably mine can you can you let me know and she replied with a video from her house of like the little arm like going up with my bin and then it comes down empty like no bin so <laughs> anyway the city is going to be replacing it because apparently that happens sometimes things get uh pulled into the bin or the bin itself gets put into the garbage um instead of being emptied and they can't like go get it out they can't pull it out and put it back um it just goes and does goes wherever the bins and the garbage goes which i don't know where that is the dump i don't know anyway <laughs> so that that was the first thing that i made um this week and then i 
think the next thing that I made were these button earrings with the butterflies. Um, this was like the first thing that I thought of making when I opened up the Potomac Beads um, Treasure Edition. And look, they go with my top. I actually wore these to axe throwing. It was a lot of fun. They stayed in my ears just the way I wanted them. They're really swingy and pretty and flowery because the button looks like a flower and then you've got the uh, the butterflies. They're, they're a lot of fun to make. So that was the next ones that I made, I think. Yeah. And then I made some earrings from a kit and this is bead woven earrings. And I will link to the tutorial for this. It's not one of my videos because it's a Potomac Beads kit. So it'll show you how to make this. It was actually really easy to make and really quick. I made it in like less than a night um, to do that. And the nice thing about this kit is this style of ear wire usually slips right out of my ears, but they included some silicone backs so I can wear these. I mean, and I could have put my own ear wires on if I wanted to, but I can wear them with the silicone backs and they won't go flying at axe throwing when I'm, I'm doing my thing. They'll stay right in my ears, right where they're supposed to be. Cause that's how I found out that they fall out by the way is, is axe throwing. Cause you take a step and then you stop and the earrings would just keep going after I'd stopped and they'd be like flying across the, the arena. Um, it was real fun the first time that happened. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> where are you going? So anyway, that's one of the reasons why I make my own ear wires, by the way, because <laughs> it's, it's a, it's a situation like that. So I made that one. Um, and then I made a triple strand bracelet with the dollar bead box and dollar bead bag. And it's sparkly and full of moody blues. And it is perfect for our rainy day as well. In fact, I think a lot of the stuff in that rainy day kit would actually go really well with this bracelet. Um, there we go. Ha ha ha, look, I put my bracelet on, on camera in front of y'all. <laughs> it worked. Um, and yeah, and then I've got these with more butterflies. And then these button beads, I just stacked these onto this wire. And I deleted the short for this because it was really confusing for folks. Um, apparently my, my voiceover had incorrect information. Um, and I didn't have like a note on there saying that there was a full-time tutorial, a real-time tutorial. So people were like, trying to follow it and they couldn't, and it was really upsetting for them. So I deleted that and I'm going to redo the short for this. So if you see a short and this pops up and you're like, wait a minute, didn't she already make those? It's why I'm redoing it. Um, and I'm also going to do the short for this. I have not posted that yet, but I'll show these to you in a minute. Anyway, they're, they're very swingy, very pretty. I like them. Oh, and I'm wearing a daisy chain ring. It's just one of those rings that I made before. Um, I'll do the, uh, I'll put a link to that video as well. They're just a fun, easy way to use up some seed beads and just make things that are pretty. I like them. They're very quick. And then, and then, and then, I was not expecting, I was not expecting to make another bead woven uh, pair of earrings this week. Um, cause I had actually done a little, quite a bit of bead weaving. Um, did I show you what last week, the little pendant that I made? I can't remember if I did or not. Um, did I do it last week or was it this week that I finished it? Pretty sure it was last week that I finished doing this pendant. And there was a, uh, it's again, a Potomac Beads tutorial for it, but I have not made this into a necklace yet. So I can't show you how I wear it. <laughs> I could just put it on some leather, I guess, because I put a bail on or a chain. Anyway, so I got a new to me subscription and it is the uh, Beads of the Month Club and they've got different types of subscriptions. And so I chose the two hole beads 
and the seed beads. Those are two separate subscriptions um, to do that with. And the beads this time were like all like yellow and bright green and lemony colors and things like that. And then like I saw these and I was like, you know what? I bet I could make these into some sunflowers. And so these dark green gem duos, come on, buddy. The dark green gem duos have these um, like green splashes on them. It's jet green confetti or jet green splash, something like that. And so they look like those dark leaves that you get with sunflowers. And then these bright, bright, you know, luster, lemon luster, uh, super duos were like, they were just begging to be made into sunflowers. Um, I think this would look great with like some orange super duos, um, probably great with some red super duos for, uh, poinsettia for Christmas time. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited about these cause like, I don't know if y'all know, but like, there's a lot of designs out there already for like super duos and things like this. And so while I was putting this together and working it out, I kept thinking, am I doing something that someone else has come up with? Am I like reinventing the wheel? Am I doing that again? And like, I spent two days searching and searching and searching on YouTube and like in other places as well to see if I could find a pattern that was like this. Um, or, you know, where you've got several rows of the seed beads around the thing. And then I couldn't find one. So I'm like, okay, I guess this is something that I totally came up with on my own. <laughs> it was a little, I was worried because there's so many, there's only so many ways you can put beads together, right? Only so many ways. And there are so many existing patterns that I was sure someone somewhere had already made like sunflower motifs like this. Someone had to. Um, I couldn't find it. If it exists, I couldn't find it. So if you did these and I copied you, it was unintentional and I couldn't find it. Anyway, that's, that's the story about making those. Um, I am actually going to be making more of those and putting them together for a bracelet and doing all that, but that probably won't be until like next week or the week after. Just, you know, life getting lifey. <laughs> so it works around here. Um, but yeah, and then we had like thunderstorms. There was one night when like the power went out like twice while I was trying to do things. And then I remembered after talking to y'all about like, let's use the good beads and stop saving things for special occasions. Let's make it a special. I remembered that I hadn't used those beads from the special tea kit. And I had actually have lots of silver silk in my stash that like, <laughs> I'm just saving it. I'm saving it and I don't know what I'm saving it for. Something special, but I decided to go ahead yesterday and I made this necklace with that special tea kit, all of those things and some silver silk and you see how it, it lays, um, actually, twisting a little bit, but that's okay. I'm going to be okay with that. <laughs> and then I made these earrings with the rose component. And that is, that is what I made this week. Yep. That's what I made. So yeah, anyway, it's been a pretty busy day for me again. Like I said, I've been doing a lot of stuff around the house, taking care of that. Um, I do want to, after I get done recording this and uploading it, I'm going to pull this out because y'all remember how excited I was when I saw it? Strawberry Fields? I was very excited about it. And there are more things that I want to make with it. So I'm going to pull this out today and I'm going to make, bake some stuff. So it might not actually get uploaded until later tonight, um, just because there's probably going to be some editing involved and all that fun stuff that goes along with it. <laughs> the overhead um, bits that aren't the fun bits, you know, the fun bits are the making the jewelry and the having a chat and doing all that. Um, the overhead things are the, you know, 
editing and the keeping track of everything and knowing where things are going. Um, I've also spent a lot of time doing more organizing. Things were getting a little uh, with, with all of my beads. And so I was like, mm -mm, no, I gotta, I gotta whip you guys into shape. Get get some of these put, put away where they need to be. So I've been doing some of that too. Like, especially, like, remember I told you uh, in one of my videos anyway, that I started doing these, um, the photo boxes. Let me pull these guys out real quick these photo boxes because I can put like things that are already in the, their little containers but I want them to all be together for something I can put them in there like that's um that's one of the the things these this is one of the Eureka crystal beads um collections so you know it comes with a bunch of seed beads and two whole beads and some pearls and some crystals and things like that and it comes in like a bag and a whole bunch of bags um, but to make it easy to stack to make it easy to keep track of I can put it right there in that oh this is another one this is one that they just um, re-released this one it's um, something seashores I don't know it's oceany it's got these pinky coppery or pinky um, corally colors involved in it there's some wax linen there's a bunch of tutorials for this already. I'll put a link to where I got the, this this collection in there. And then I, I got this one too while I was getting things from there. But yeah, it's like, it's so much easier for me to put these in here. So like, I've, I've been getting things organized and putting them away in places where I can stack them up nicely and have them, you know, not just sliding around in bags or something somewhere because that just drives me nuts. <sighs> feel so much better about that now but yeah so that's part of what I've been doing but also you know house <laughs> taking care of the house um doing some batch cooking for things for the coming week um we've been uh, trying to do a little bit like eating healthier in the house my son has asked for some help with that which I'm happy to help with um and one thing is in the mornings I'm usually trying to work and feed the dogs and do all that so I don't have a lot of time for cooking something fresh so today I baked some bran protein oat bran pumpkin chocolate chip muffins so <laughs> they'll have the oats and the oat bran for the the soluble fiber that's good for heart health they'll have some protein they'll have some um some other stuff and then they'll have some pumpkin and some chocolate for fun and for flavor something that, that makes it enjoyable to eat. You know? <laughs> so he can, you know, grab one in the morning and he won't have to worry about whether it's something he can put in the microwave or not. Sometimes he can handle cooking things and sometimes he can't. It needs to be something easy. So I'm trying to, to let today Becky um, set tomorrow Becky and this next week Becky up for some success. We'll see if that works. But yeah, so we're, we're doing some of that and cleaning and organizing and, you know, this <sighs> entropy. <laughs> you you got to keep constantly doing things. Um, I know y'all know what that's like. Um, but yeah, so that is what I made this week. What I plan on doing this week is um, more earrings. We're going to, again, I'm opening this up and then I will see what I feel like making I'm going to play it by ear for the rest of the week and see what we do. Um, I did open up and record my unboxing for Sam's bead box and it's, it's pretty great. Um, kind of seemed like there were fewer beads in there than normal, but maybe they're just nicer beads so they couldn't put as many in and keep it at the same price point. But I mean, that's okay because they're still very nice. So I unboxed that, um, but I don't release my unboxings until after the official unboxing. If it's one of the, the ones that has an official unboxing, not all of them do. So we got that one recorded. That'll be, I think it's, is it Friday? It's the 19th, I think. I'll have to look it up. I think it's the 19th. So when, when they, when they make that live, then we'll go ahead and I'll publish mine at that point, but I, I un unboxed it earlier this morning to look at it. So that, that was a fun thing to do um, before I, you know, got to work on the, the work part of everything. <laughs> 
like I like I do and then I'm gonna have some fun with the strawberry fields and probably relax with my dogs for the rest of the night anyway I hope you all have been having a wonderful weekend and let me know if you've been able to uh, make anything with the good beads this week that was my challenge last week um, and this week just you know keep your head up man <laughs> that's what I'm gonna be doing keeping my head up um, again just playing things by ear see how I feel about things um, don't really have a solid plan on things yet but you know we'll get there anyway I appreciate you and I hope you have a fantastic day bye